like I always say, if you're not down with the bullshit and you're down with the real shit, like and subscribe. Um, I'm really tripping off of recent uh, events involving um the greatest shooter in NBA history, uh, Steph Curry's parents. Um, you know, I guess basically they got an impending divorce. Um, based upon each other accusing, um, you know, the other of infidelity. And, you know, that's sad. Um, they were together, I think, like over 30 years. And, um, you know, they raised uh, three kids. Uh, you know, they got um, two sons playing in the NBA. Um, their daughter is married to um, their uh, son-in-law who plays in the NBA next to uh, Steph. And um, when you look at that story, especially concerning black people or a black family, I mean, man, that's success. And plus, you know, Dale was a former uh, NBA player uh, himself and the whole family as a whole, including his mom and um his sister, um, um, Steph's mom and sister, you know, uh, 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 were uh, both involved in athletics. And, um, you know, that's a great thing as far as that goes. But um, the crazy thing is uh, how what's been reported is Steph and Aisha have voiced their um, disdain, disdain for... Um, Dale Curry, uh, speaking his truth uh, about um, Steph's mom, Sonia. And, and, and one thing, you know, it's like, wait a minute, Steph and Aisha have voice. First of all, Aisha, that's not your mom or your dad. You know, see, there comes a time when, you know, you have to know your place. You know, there, there, there's a lot of times where we always need to know our place. But I'm saying, like, um, when you're in involved in uh, let's say when 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 you you're so called a part of a family you know you ever see how um people you know make sure like uh like a disclaimer almost sometime when they say uh yeah so and so is related by marriage or um you know yeah uh that's not really his kid that's really her kid by another dude but uh you know um you know, uh, might not necessarily be a quote unquote step kid, so to speak, but you know, sometimes you have these people who be trying to play house and pretend like, uh, you know, relationships have uh, more substance than what they truthfully do. Um, uh, you know, uh, the whole thing about uh, in laws and anything, because when they have to put some kind of amendment or 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 something of that nature or some kind of something that explains uh, something like a disclaimer or something like that that's done for a reason you know uh, I mean if I tell you this is my brother or I tell you somebody is my sister uh, if they really my brother or they're my sister that's what it is if they're not really my brother or my sister and I say oh that's my step brother Oh, that's my stepsister. Oh, that's my sister-in-law. Or that's my uh, brother-in-law. You know, um, it's telling you that we're like family, but we're not exactly authentically the same as family. And Aisha shouldn't be voicing any kind of damn, you know, concern about nothing. And Steph also, those are his parents, but let's be real. You got enough to deal with with um, your wife twerking on the gram, um, saying that uh, going on the uh, red table talk with Will Smith's daughter and wife and and and, and, and mother-in-law. You know, sometimes you, you you know like you have a woman, or you're married, you have a girlfriend. You know those women where you know she tells you these are her friends or. Somebody she uh, socializes with, uh, 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 some female associate, and the way that those females live their lives 
and the way they express themselves and the way that they think and, you know, the makeup of them, you look and say, oh, hell no, this is not good. You know, you don't want your woman really hanging with certain types of women, you know, because you know that those are those types that try to put things into their head and turn them against you. Your wife could have been a, you know, happy, you know, uh, woman in the situation that she's in with you and the kids and everything and she gets to hanging around these women and the next thing you know you know she leaves out the house one day um regular and normal comes back a damn feminist you know and like, wait, wait a minute. now that's just to say hey look if you're a feminist you're a feminist if my wife's not why the hell you want to turn my wife to a feminist and now everything between me and her is a male versus female thing you know, who the hell wants to really live like that? That's why feminist women, you know, should be by themselves. You, 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 your attitude and your demeanor, everything you say is basically, I hate men anyway. You know, uh, a lot of feminists, feminists are, you know, associated with being lesbians. Also, you know, a lot of times. It, it's, it's really rational to see that association uh put together like that if you really think about it you know um and uh you know yeah aisha goes on there with them and and expressing how uh on the red table talk and expressing to uh jada pinkett and her daughter willow and jada pinkett's mom how she is jealous and envious of the attention that her husband gets from females and she wished that she had somebody DMing her. She wished that she had more men paying attention to her. See, that's competition. That issue between them was really more serious than maybe a lot of people thought. Yeah, you know, it happened and it went away. I guess no more talk, but you know, her twerking on the ground just because she's cooking on the stove and all that type of stuff. Um, you know, I've seen like um, images, things where like um, they were doing something one time, like some years ago. Um, it was uh, Aisha's birthday. They were somewhere in a. I remember I was seeing her. She was dancing and gyrating and moving her hips. And I, and I was thinking to myself, I said, "Oh, Aisha got a little bit of freak in her." Huh? Like uh, I mean, you know, you kind of look at stuff like stuff like you know, kind of you know, more of button up, you know. Uh, Go do his job, play for the Warriors, do his thing as far as that that's concerned. Go home, be a family man, be a father and a husband, you know. And a lot of times when, you know, you have those type of guys matched up with a woman who is more so, uh, you know, sociable, more sociable than them, more outgoing, you know, flirtatious and things of that nature, you know, that can lead to something. Because it's kind of a, a signal that says, okay, we're together, but you're kind of boring, you know, at the same time. You're a good guy. I love you. I see you're a good caring husband, a good caring father, and a good provider. But they will still look at you and be like, but if they think you're boring and you're not exciting and I need some excitement in my life and... I need this and I need that. It's like, you know, it's not good. That's why the old saying used to be, you never want to be in a relationship with somebody who has issues. You know, if you can't just be grounded and content and humble and stationary, that's not good to be the opposite of all those things in a marriage or in a relationship, period. You know, that's more so like being for the streets. And, you know, here's... Steph, you know, you're dealing with the stuff, you know, it hasn't been that long ago. People still remember what was going on. And now you want to criticize your dad and talk about he shouldn't have, you know, basically put his mom on blast like that in the public. Uh, you look bad. At, what, what, so, but if she does it to him, it's okay. It's bad if he does it. But not bad if she does. Like, I, I don't understand. You know... And I don't know directly if, but some people are, are, are assuming, uh, based upon, you know, uh, what Steph has said, uh, dealing with his parents, uh, you know, 
uh, situation that they have referred to him as a mama's boy. And mama, mama's boys, a lot of times, always feel like, you know, it's a crazy thing, but it's just this is just reality, right? Mama's boys, simps, um, excuse me, white knights, Captain Save a uh, dudes. Why do they always think they're the better men? They always think that they are the better men amongst all the other men, you know, in the in the, in the world. You know, I mean, constantly they're played by women. They're ridiculed. They're shamed and embarrassed. Um, made to look like losers, but they always think that they're like some kind of blessing or something is going to happen for them because they're like that. You know, and it's 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 like um, a style of being stupid. But you think this 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 style of being stupid is positive, and and the shit don't never work. You'll get used, you know, because she feels like she, she she's secure being with you because you value her more than you value yourself. And I've even heard some women even like. Look at that as some form of game. Look for a guy who loves you more than you love him. You know, like that's the kind I've heard women say that. They say, that's the kind of guy you want. That's, if you're going to get married or whatever, you got to find a dude who going to love you more than he loves himself. You know, or you got to find a guy like, you know, that loves you more than you love him. You know, um, and the thing is, it's like, Steph, you're supposed to love both of your parents. You you can you can love your mom and and everything, and that's good. But your dad, hey man, you got your athletic skills. I know there'll be some women say, well, didn't his didn't his mom used to play uh, what did she used to play volleyball or something like that? Oh god. And they'll try to make it seem like that has something to him, do with him being a great uh, basketball player and shooter. His dad was a great shooter when he played. Not as great as him, but that's where he gets his athletic prowess from, his dad. Him and Seth both used to go to their dad's games. They've been knowing and meeting NBA players like all their lives. You know, he, their father, because of who he was, uh introduced them to a life directly that a lot of us would have wished our fathers would have been able to do when we were like little boys and stuff like that. Man, you know, who wouldn't have wanted a, a father who was a famous athlete and you can go see all your favorite athletes that you see on TV, you go see them live in person, all this stuff. I mean, um, uh, the, the, the Williams sisters, Venus and Serena, uh, there's supposed to be a movie coming out, Will Smith playing their father, Richard Williams. Supposed to be coming out uh, towards the end of this year. And uh, who was that? Uh, what was her name? Uh, Amanda Seals. Um, was like tripping about why are they celebrating Richard Williams and stuff. I mean, there's enough people that hate on the black man to where, damn, Steph, you don't have to join in and you know, and, and help your father be another one they just tear down. I mean, look, man, I mean, if your mom was cheating and she was doing stuff she didn't have any business, that's what it is, man. Doesn't mean that your dad didn't do anything wrong, but you got to look at it, both of them the same, man. All this mess that people are trying to say, well, you know, uh, yeah, you know, she did what she did, and uh, it was wrong, but, you know, my dad drove her to doing that. You know, and if he had never did what he did, you know, she would have never done what she did. I'm like, you know, why do we have a world that keeps treating women like children? But then I'll tell you I'm a grown woman. I don't. But then they want, you know, uh, equal rights. And uh, no, this, that's how you know all this stuff is crap, man. This, this world is just full of shit, you know. But um, I was just looking at it like, damn, man. Steph, why you want to? do that like you want to get out here in, in the public and let everybody know that 
hey, I don't like what my dad did. Like, man, you know, the Bible says you're supposed to be a Christian, right, Steph? The Bible says honor thy mother and father. It doesn't say honor thy mother. It says honor thy mother and father. Uh, what kind of honor are you, you know, bringing to your father by... You're not here saying like, well, you know, I'm on my mom's side and what he did was wrong by even talking about what she did. It's like he could express that to his dad if he wanted to. That would be the best thing. He didn't have to, you know, let social media know or whatever, or some reporter, or he didn't have to proca proclaim that publicly. He did not have to do that. That was a choice. And I don't know if that was by the... <laughs> the massaging and uh, pushing of Aisha because it could have been you know you should get out there and tell, tell the world you know that we don't like what Dale did and this and he might have been like saying, oh, I don't really know what to do about this you know saying it's very confusing you know and, and, and everything I, I didn't know this was all happening or whatever baby I ain't telling you what you need to, I'll be tripping off them dudes like, oh, it's going to have that woman coaxing them. I'll be like, damn, dude, you don't have a brain. I, 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 I didn't have friends and, you know, seen them do that, man. I'm like, they never want you to be all in their ear telling them what to do. And they just sit there do like, oh, you, okay, you know, this or that. Like, what the, like, man, that's awful, dude. You know, you done got with a woman now, you don't have no sense no more. Then if you, you just allow her to make a fool out of you, who's, who the hell supposed to feel sorry for you? You be seeing dudes like, like their brains just turn to mush. I was like, damn, do you don't know how foolish and stupid you look? You said, to, oh, what you want me to do, baby? I was like, god damn. Especially if she's some kind of, like, slut or tramp or some known hoe, and he's calling her baby and all this and holding her by the hand. I was like, oh, my god. Jesus Christ. Man. What's that uh EPMD had that uh that verse? What a way to what a way to go out out like a sucker. Like God damn. Um Yeah man, but uh I was just uh, doing a like show video about that just because of and, you know, I, that had been on my mind. And I was like, why is Steph doing? You need to be focused on Clay Thompson about to come back healthy after two years. You guys narrowly missed the playoffs this past year. You guys are trying to put a good competitive team out there to make a run deep into the playoffs. That's your focus, Steph. Your mom and dad are grown people. They're going to be all right. They're going to make the best decision for them. Now, all you can do is just pray and, you know, that your mom and dad be all right. They should have, both of them should have your blessings. You should still love both of them. You should make sure if, Dale, if Dale's not with your mom anymore, you should make sure that your kids still are able to see their grandfather and have a relationship with their grandfather. And it not be made to look like all oh, sides are being taken, and you know you go, you guys go over here with grandma. But as far as granddad, oh no, you know because you know what he did to grandma was wrong. So you know we're not gonna really go over there and see him that much, you know. That, oh god, now you tell me that's right, baby. Meanwhile, the kids are going all around her damn family. Everything's all right, and and and, and I've seen this a lot of times, man. Um, with black people. It's, like I've told people, I said, if you ever really analyze, look, it's the mom family that's always usually a bunch of degenerates, you know, people that use drugs, um, you know, in and out of jail. She always got them them brothers that's fucking criminals and, 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 and shit and be doing all kind of janky ass, shiesty shit, uh, be having all kind of strange ass uncles and aunts and all kind of weird ass shit. And, 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 and you raise the kids to think that that's the side of the family that they should really try to, you know, uh, gain knowledge and, 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 and look at as um, examples of how to be, uh, uh, you know, 
as you know, looking at them as role models, you know, and and then, and then you know, the father family will be good, decent people, but the kids won't really uh, get a chance to go over there and see them, you know, um, and uh, sometimes that doesn't happen because. The father doesn't have a good relationship either with his dad, and his dad is still with his mom. So, you know, uh, you know, because because sometimes with with uh, boys uh, growing up, at some point, they want their father to take a back seat as being the matriarch of the family, and let them run things. I'm grown now, Dad. So you know, now I'm 17, 18. You know, I don't need you telling me to like you know. Sometimes they be overprotective of their mothers and all kind of stuff like that, and they 